first morning cold <laughs> just went for a morning walk breathing in the fresh air it's so nice and hopefully we'll spend a lovely day today Setting for fall and this is the perfect perfect day to do it and some days because here in Norway although it's warm today it's going to get to like 15 16 degrees tomorrow and even 9 degrees on Tuesday so I am feeling my autumn feels wearing this chauffeur gilet although it's quite hot I've just come here to help uh, Mati's mum a little bit with cleaning because she's got a cleaning company so I've just come because Mati is out doing fishing so I thought I would just get out of the house get a bit moving um, just get a bit out of my head this is another thing that I will talk about later a bit in this video is like I'm not really I haven't been okay and I just want to update you guys properly on what's been going on but yeah just I feel like when I move and clean for some reason it just really helps me so cleaning it is and uh, just moving and being in nature I mean stunning thing is so good I mean let's go and just show you a bit of Norway I'll chat to you a little bit while fixing my makeup a little bit. I was saying how I haven't been really feeling that well and I thought I'll just do a little vlog from this trip and um, just intertwine some things that I wanted to update you on because really in like my fragrance videos and stuff like I can't really <laughs> go off topic that much I have been posting a little bit less I don't think you've noticed that much I know that one person said to me oh you haven't posted in five days um, so I was like oh yeah that is because I'm not feeling well but I'm doing my best I still haven't missed like a single week of uploads since I started my YouTube channel like three years ago or something like that like the men's one and this one so that is you know I mean <laughs> I love what I do basically I haven't been feeling very well um, I might do a, maybe like a big video on that topic once I feel like I can maybe help some people also going through the same thing I don't want to just be like uh oh, this is it and then I'm just leaving you like blah you know I want to be helpful so um, I've been basically experiencing a lot of anxiety and I've always been an anxious person but I never really researched it or I never really looked into it I just thought like that's how everybody lives but recently it's amped up a lot a lot a lot and since then since about three four weeks ago now it's been a huge challenge um, thankfully like I'm functioning now and I'm out here in Norway I don't know guys I don't know how I made this trip I literally don't know but I did it because what this whole anxiety manifests itself in is also um, a bit of claustrophobia a bit of like just I just hate being stuck um, and it just it's very very intense and yesterday we did this whole flight two flights uh, two long car journeys and I like four weeks ago I would have just said like no way like 
no way but due to some books that I've read and just a different attitude I know that I have to confront this and I know I have to challenge myself and I was like I can do this I can do this I must have tried cried like three times yesterday um, but I did it I made it here I'm very proud of myself if you don't know like if you can't relate then you probably have never had anxiety but it's like a real thing I didn't think it was real like I'm guilty of being that f person thinking like I'm just anxious all the time like aren't people like why don't they know how to deal with it this is another another level this is like I get why people sometimes can't function when they have anxiety I get the struggle um, it's just terrible like believe me like if you've never you 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 just feel like you're dying you literally feel like your body's telling you not to do something because your body literally thinks you're going to die so it's giving you all those emotions all those physical man manifestations it's absolutely just terrible um but i've been dealing with this so i've been trying to be my like happy self and film and do stuff but quite honestly i know that many of you have probably gone through some dramatic stuff in your life like who doesn't everybody has trauma and stuff but it just really affects you and sometimes you just leave it you just think oh i'll be fine i'll be fine i don't have to deal with this and then it gets you so you better deal with it because otherwise it will get you eventually it's not like something you can just put off and sadly it got me i thought i'm fine loads of things changed in my life over the three years so many things and i just thought i'll just i'm fine i'll put it off like I'm here, I'm needed here, I need to do this, I need to do work, I need to do that and then I didn't just take away time for myself to deal with stuff uh, and I feel like that has backfired and I'm still trying to understand understand what this new life is, how I'm going to live like this <laughs> but I'm, I'm all, you can tell I'm a lot more positive if you maybe have any tips let me know maybe you've gone through the same stuff because i'm finding out loads of people have been going through this and there's loads of people that have been affected or are affected by this by the way this is my favorite blush at the moment valentino eyes to cheek eight this is so gorgeous it's just so pretty and um yeah as a result uh, actually like even before i scheduled this in but i started therapy as well which is something that i've never done before so that is great i have found somebody who i really like i was worried because like you just get these like it's a process finding a therapist but uh, i got a recommendation uh, so this is somebody who is really good and i've had two sessions with her which is really good and sometimes I feel like maybe people don't talk about this stuff online but on one hand I'm terrified and I don't want to tell anybody what I'm going through because I've always been that way like I just protect myself because I know there's like loads of people out there not knowing me or maybe not getting the context of what I'm saying and it's like I don't want it to get to me like people's opinions about this stuff but at the same time I think it's important to say hey everything is so amazing online everything it's just like people just pretend everything is peachy perfect maybe it is I don't know but I think a lot of the time we can just think everybody else's life is perfect and maybe looking at me you've you thought that and <laughs> like oh she just has it all together or whatever whatever your thoughts were about me um it's okay not to be okay basically and everybody has got stuff that they have to deal with or they're going through or they have gone through no life is just a straight line and just so predictable and stuff like i never thought that this what i'm currently going through would be me but yet it is and i have to make 
good with it because it's it's part of me like i can't turn it off um i can manage it but i can't necessarily turn it off by the way most of the products i'm using are armani like i'm obsessed with armani always have been for years now and i'm very grateful that they have saw my love and they were like oh do you want um do you want some stuff <laughs> and i was like money sending me stuff like what so I'm very thankful i love this stuff so much this is lip power these are so good because they've got matte ones and like moisturizing one and they are lipsticks but they are just like the right amount of pigment not too much because i don't really do like super opaque i just have just put on some blush just reapplied some bits a little bit and then again i'm going to put my dual gloss on top i love this one yeah so as i was saying nothing is perfect if you feel like you might just be having like a bad time like everybody has bad times everybody has to deal with something and yeah that's currently me and um i'm just trying to do the best uh, with what life has gotten me um, but it's yeah it sucks <laughs> honestly it sucks sometimes and I'm now like happy and talking about this but maybe I'll pop some pictures of me like I literally took pictures when I was like feeling really really bad just they weren't even selfies they were like I want to remember this so that I can remember if like if I get better that this passes so I literally just like would open my phone and just take a picture and I look terrible and that is what life sometimes is like that is what sometimes life is and I'm here to remind you this will pass thank thank God for time <laughs> thank God for time because time is a wonderful thing that just passes Ooh. I need to turn off the potatoes and I'm just cooking, well, ending cooking some food because Machi's mom has gone to pick him up and I'm just here just trying to see if I can finish off the food so we can have a lovely meal. Machi has tons of macros. He went on a fishing trip, so that should be really, really lovely. This is literally how I imagined uh, the church from Unblythe to be like the church that she went to. 